Hi everyone, today video is about how to custom modern ottoman chair for dressing table. But before this tutorial, my channel is about 3D design building and tutorial. Please don't forget to subscribe, like and share. Okay, let's start. This is how it looks like on 3D. I'm gonna design similar to this one and another extra to give you another idea. So we're gonna go to the this area because I'm gonna work on this area to show you. Gonna go to the ground floor. So the first part we are gonna do is gonna go to a document and select the circle and then we draw try to draw anywhere like you want it and I'm gonna select around 200 and then do the circle and then after that we're gonna go to the design slab and then select on your keyboard space and then we're gonna go to the 3d see it okay this is how it looks like the height is gonna be 300 it depends which height you want and the surface is gonna be dependent the previous one was metal browsing but I'm gonna now use the brass so I'm gonna go with this one and a second part we're gonna go to the shell tool and here geometry method we're gonna take the revolve it and then here construction method the simple and it's gonna depend the dimension everything after we design over here just click on this area and then gonna go over here which is 200 and then increase another one which is 210 and then draw like this let's go to 3d and then work with this one um, make it a little bit down and then make another one copy Control plus shift plus d go a little bit down and then select on the inside part okay which is here and then just try to work on the move node like this just try to move a little bit down again a little bit down and then we're gonna go a little bit down again because it's gonna show you going inside and outside Okay, it's good, it's good, it's good now like this. Okay, we are done with this one. And then we select on the edge part here. Select on the chamfer and click on all. Select this one and then select, okay. We are done. I'm gonna go up a little bit. No, not this one, this one. You can select this one, make it to the point. Okay. And then we'll select this one at the top part and we move it inside like this okay and then we select the color go to the surface and then select over here click match and then we're gonna go with the color tan and match it okay and then we select this one control plus shift plus d to make a copy or you can move it and then you're gonna work with another thing which is gonna be over here like this it's good okay Another one, control plus shift plus T, copy, move it down over here and then make a space between the two of them, which is around 14, 15, and then do another one, copy, and then move it a little bit down, which is 15, and remove this one, okay? This is how it look like, this is in a simple way okay we just move it a little bit down a little bit down move it down like this and this one a little bit up and that's all this is how it looks like the second one we're gonna do the similar which we did it like we draw a, a circle we're gonna go to the circle and then we draw over here around 200 just type 200 and then we draw a little bit like this and then we're gonna select the line over here we just just try to get the center one okay and then we draw uh we just draw a line over here at the center and again we're gonna go to the circle and then we draw over here around 20 circle and then we'll move the circle select it and move it until the center part which is over here okay and then we're gonna go to the slab we just click on your keyboard space and then also over here to 
so we don't do it we're gonna remove this one and this one just click on space click on that okay here we have the height it's okay here it's gonna be different because we're gonna go a little bit up and then just check over here 3d we'll move this one down we're gonna click on this reach height and then like this we'll change the color to um i'm gonna go with the color tan and that's all so the second we're gonna take this one okay click on the edit part of it and then go to the multiply and go to rotation increment uh and then select here 25 and then rotation path okay select over here select at this point and then we're gonna type 14 and 48 okay and then we're gonna have equal click okay that's all so we select this one Control plus shift plus d and put it over here okay and then we're gonna work with this one stretch uh radio and then we click over here see on 3d look how it's look like and then we'll move this one a little bit up just over here okay this is how it's look like and we just first thing we do the drawing lines from the document and then we draw with the slab which is the second step and the third step which is gonna be select the whole object or select it over here like this click ok it is overall selected and we're gonna go to the file uh, libraries and object and save it as uh, we're gonna save it as object and we click ok and here we have uh, optimum man and click ok and then select for the second one also this one click ok file and just uh, try to save it over here file libraries and object the same thing uh, click ok uh, optimum man two okay we just try to finish everything and this is the the very simple i have made it i'm gonna go to the object tool select over here we're gonna select on this one we have two which is the first one this is how it's look like and the second one's look like like this select it and just put it over here uh select the second one I'm gonna go object and we have here Optimum, yeah okay the second one over here and just we put it over here so please if you have any questions you can comment below and don't forget to subscribe like and share and thank you for watching